Quick update with the truck project, the 72 C10 with the 6.2 liter LS with the uh, Whipple supercharger on it. Uh, this is my latest project. I got a Ford nine inch rear end from uh, Quick Performance and uh, it has all the bracing and everything it needs to handle all the power that Whipple can throw at it. I got the uh, 350 gears in it, the Eaton True Track and um, with the Yukon bolt through, aluminum bolt through centerpiece and the uh, billet uh, yoke. And I got the 35 spline axles. They're in that box there. So hopefully next weekend I'll be taking out this old 12 bolt. This is just stock as far as I know. I did paint it up and put a different cover on the back. and um, But I'm going to be taking that out. Hopefully it all fits in there. It's supposed to uh, bolt right in. Uh, quick performance offers a offers options where it can bolt right in. They welded all the brackets it needs to go on to the uh, swing arm. So hopefully uh, this will be plenty, plenty of, uh, plenty strong enough to handle whatever this Whipple can throw at it. So um, I chose the 350 gears because this is a, an L99 out of a 2014 Camaro, has the Whipple charger on it. So it has the uh, six-speed automatic transmission. So I didn't know really what gears to pick, so I went to the Camaro forums and all the guys that have uh, Whipple superchargers on this particular motor with that particular transmission, they all recommended uh, 350s, or that's what I was reading, or something close to a 350, I can't really remember, but I picked a 350, and we'll see how that works. I think we'll be okay. Um, I did some calculations on a website where you take the tire diameter or transmission and all that stuff and um, uh, I think it came up with I'd be at 2200 rpm at uh, 80 miles an hour, so that should be plenty that should be okay for what I'm going to use this truck for But again, this housing is great quick performance did a Did an amazing job on it so far. We'll see how it goes once I uh start putting everything together but they did powder coat it I'm gonna clean it out it has all the reinforcement on the back as you can see there so it should be plenty strong for whatever that little LS and Whipple will put on it and just a quick look at the uh, at the axles you can see them here there's 35 spline so that should be pretty strong too and uh, I should have some more videos this weekend and um, so be looking for those posts when I do that and hopefully next after that I'll be getting this moving all this electronics into the cab so that I can get everything straight get the fenders on I can't get the fenders on right now because the wiring harness is kind of in the way right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to route it up through that um, transmission the hole I put right there in the floor and mount the electronics in there temporarily just so I can get all the fenders on check all the gaps uh, perhaps do some body work and put the roll cage in I got a roll cage from insane hot rods that will be going in there too so um, be looking for that too in the near future all right and uh, oh yeah a little bonus when I work on my truck I have the office going in the background so anyway see you next update